Hello and welcome now to Wilcom's uh, video short series for Embroidery Studio E4.0. My name is James and I will be instructing you today uh, showing you how to use the color photo stitch tool inside the program. Now what this tool does basically is it automatically uh, turns grayscale or color photographs into embroidery and so we're going to import in a graphic file and we're going to just do that. So I'm going to navigate over uh, to my file drop down menu uh, whenever I want to go in and import in a graphic or embroidery. I'll choose the file drop menu. As I scroll down, I'll choose import graphic. And I'm going to choose a bitmap file here and I'll just navigate and choose the doggy JPEG file here. And I see some white space on the outside here that I don't want embroidered. So I will um, go to Corel Draw as I navigate. So whenever I want to go over to Corel Draw and crop something, I'll left click here on the Corel Draw balloon in the upper left corner here. As I get over, I want to zoom in enough so where I can see uh, amid the area that I want to go in and crop. And at this point here, with it selected on the screen, um, whenever you want to crop anything, you'll navigate over to the left side and you will choose the third option down here, which is the crop tool. Okay. And what this does is it just removes areas outside of the selection area um, for any voided space or anything like that. And so here um, I'm going to left click and just drag my box around this like here. Okay, if there's any additional uh, areas that I need to crop here, I can just go to the left side here and I can move that in like this. And once I've completed what I'm going to crop out to the inside, I'll left click, I'll double click two times, one, two, and it goes in and it uh, crops that to imagery. And from there, um, I can navigate back over and click on the Wilcom switcher back over to Wilcom and left click here. Okay, so now uh, as far as the size, we want to make this, uh, we'll make it uh, eight inches in size. Now, so once you've gone in and you've gotten your size correct, and I do recommend uh, going in and uh, making the design the size that it's going to be when it stitches out, that's very important. And um, again, uh, we're going to go in and we're going to use the uh, auto digitizing tools. Okay, and if you don't have these tools on your screen here, if you don't see them uh, here on the bottom or to the left side, uh, we're going to go up top and we're going to right click on a voided area up top here. As we right click, it's going to give us a drop menu and show us uh, the uh, all of the tools here that are turned on currently on the screen. And they will have a check by them. And you'll just go in and make sure that there's a check if you left click here to the left uh, where the auto digitizing tools are uh, that will place those tools on the screen for you. Next we're just going to select our design and we're going to navigate down. It's going to be the last toolbar here uh, for the color photo stitch and we're going to left click. It's going to give us uh, a screen basically where we can go and we can edit. Uh, you can decide uh, what type of resolution that you want to use for this uh, uh, high, medium, or low. and um, you can adjust the uh, colorization here also. Uh, you can also navigate and you can change uh, the number of colors that would be in the design also here. Okay. And you could do color matching here also if you wanted to do color matching. Uh, and here um, I'm just going to use the um, match the bitmap colors to the color palette and click OK here. So here are my colors on the screen where I can go in and I can adjust those. Uh, if I want to as well. And once I've gone in and done all this, um, I can go in and then just apply and click OK. And as you can see here, uh, it went in. It was able to stitch uh, all that out on screen here. The stitch count on the lower left corner uh, is going to be large, okay, because as you go in with the sizes like this uh, being eight inches, uh, this has 84,307 stitches in it. 
And so um, I can go up here to my design drop menu and remove any small stitches here. And that will reduce them if need be here. And so uh, this is pretty much how it works. And if I zoom into it, you can see here that um, on screen, it is giving me a continuous run line here. If I press D to hide the background here, it'll show me everything here. Now, um, if I wanted to go in and uh, adjust the background for the color uh, that I'm going to stitch this on, I can always navigate here to the bottom of my screen and I can change the background color uh, to a different color here. If I change this to black and click OK, this is what this is going to look like here. Okay, and again, the type of design that you do, the layout of it is going to be important for this. And so you may um, have to go in and adjust uh, the design several times. Um, you have to make sure also that the design is, is right for uh, the color uh, photo uh, flash. And uh, so the amount of light, medium, and dark shades for the design here for the photograph are important also. So you want to make sure uh, that you have a decent photograph uh, to do the conversion with and um, and that's pretty much it uh, as far as the uh, how to go in and uh, work with the uh, uh, color uh, photo stitch option inside the program okay and keep in mind also that uh, you can always go in and add borders uh, to these um, images here also um, for instance if I would like to go in and add uh, a border to it I can actually click on this here and I uh, have the option here to go in and choose the uh, simple offsets here with the spacing at zero I uh, just need one offset here basically and I'll use a column C stitch for this and click OK um, it'll go in as I select that here um, I can navigate to my object properties and I could adjust here I'll navigate to my measurement tools here to change just a metric Okay, and now I can go in and actually and increase the size of this. I can make this 5.0 to make that thicker on the outside like this. And if I wanted to make it even thicker, I can actually go in and I can um, make this six, six millimeters wide, as you see here. And I can also go in and I can adjust the auto split and make this three or four so that's a leg 4.0 press enter and so you can go in and you could do some some pretty cool uh, things with this also uh, by going in and adjusting and adding those uh, stitch types to the outside enhancing uh, the imagery and of course at the same time it will again it will increase the stitch count um, more as well and so keeping the design a moderate size uh, for using this uh, conversion tool here is very very important anything that's really really small may or may not work so um, uh, you also have to keep that in mind as well that's going to do it for this class I want to thank you we ask you to uh, join us at www.willcomeamerica.com thank you for your time have a great day